Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with another review. And today, I have a solar panel kit for your Blink Outdoor, Blink XT, or Blink XT2 cameras from our good friends over at Wasserstein. This solar panel kit will allow you to run your Blink Outdoor cameras virtually forever with nothing more than sunlight. Now, before I get too deep into the review, I always like to start with an unboxing of a product just to show you everything that's included with the kit. And then I'll spend a few minutes talking about this product and really what makes it special, and in a lot of ways, the perfect solution for your Blink Outdoor cameras. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first pop open the box, you'll find the solar panel. You'll also find a mounting kit. This is really nice because it's a 360 degree mounting kit, which allows you to rotate the panel and pivot the panel so you can capture as much sunlight as possible. You'll also find some mounting hardware. And I think it's really nice to include this in the kit because again, when you pop open the box, you're gonna wanna get outside and mount this and start using it. And then you're gonna have to go hunting around the garage to try to find screws to actually bolt it to your house. They also include sleeves that you can use if you're drilling into concrete. And finally, a full instruction manual that explains exactly what the dimensions of the product are, what kind of power it can provide, and other cool things about the product that you'll need to understand. So always read through that. Now let's talk about the kit. I love solar power. I just think that it's, it's free, it's forever, and I don't have to be outside changing batteries on my cameras, and I love that more than anything else. Now what Wasserstein did with this is when they designed this particular product, there's always that question of how big the solar panel can be, and how big the battery inside the solar panel can be. And what Wasserstein did was think about, I don't wanna have a big, ugly solar panel on the side of my house that's collecting a lot of energy that I'm not gonna use. So they perfectly crafted the size of this and the internal battery, which is 2,600 milliamp hours, to provide plenty of energy to run your camera for a couple of days even if you don't have sunshine. Because let's face it, a lot of times during the winter, it's cloudy, it's overcast, it may be snowing, and you're not getting a lot of sunshine hitting the panel that you can harvest to turn into electrons to run your camera. So what they did was build in, like I said, the actual 2,600 milliamp hour battery inside here. So essentially what you're doing is when this is facing the sun and it's drinking those, those sunlight rays coming down from the sun, it's converting those into electrons that are charging the battery internally. On the back of the unit, they've got a cable connected here that's four meters long with a micro USB connection on the other end. So simply, you'll mount this on the side of your home and put this someplace where you've got plenty of sunlight washing across the front of that solar panel during the day, and then plug this into the back of your Blink camera. And again, it's a Blink Outdoor, Blink XT, or Blink XT2. You'll pop open the little grommet on the bottom of it. My recommendation is take the back off the camera and actually take that grommet out completely. You can go inside the camera and remove that, and that'll give you a better seal for this. But you'll plug this in, and it's got a nice rubberized gasket on here that makes it completely waterproof. And then from there, you don't even need batteries in the camera because I got a lot of questions about should I leave the batteries in the camera if I'm using a solar panel? My recommendation, I don't leave the batteries in the camera for one reason. I'm going to forget they're in there and two years from now, this thing's going to be running just great and the camera's going to work and those batteries are going to corrode. So get them out of the camera. This is plenty of power because the battery inside here effectively replaces the batteries that you'd be changing in your camera. Now, a couple other quick things about it that I like a lot. The mount is really cool. A lot of times when you're looking at these solar panel kits, the mount is really basic where it's a fixed mount and you've got to be really careful about how you position the mount to make sure that the solar panel is facing the sun. With this one, you have 360 degrees of rotation in this direction, so I can mount it anywhere, rotate it as I need to to get the perfect angle. It also has a pivot on the top, which allows me to sort of set that up so that I can put it up straight like this if the sun's gonna be above me or down a little bit more if the sun's coming along the horizon. So the mount is really nice. Again, it's plastic, it's heavy duty, and I've had a bunch of these around my house for quite some time and they just work great. The solar panel is heavy duty. It's got high efficiency crystals on the top, which is gonna convert as much of the sunlight that hits it as possible in energy that it can charge the battery in the back. And again, everything you need to get started is included with the kit. So essentially, you'll bolt this to the side of your house, you'll slide this onto the back of the panel, you'll feel a click when it goes in there. So it's really securely mount it, then you'll want to make sure you position this again so that during the day as the sun travels across your yard, it's crossing as much as possible across the solar panel and leave it in the horizontal position. This way you're cutting it too short, so I always like to leave it in the horizontal position. And that's pretty much it. Plug it into your camera and you're off and running. And the beautiful part for me about solar power is that batteries work great. And, and again, depending on what kind of resolution you've got on the recordings and how many recordings you're doing and how long the recordings are, maybe those batteries will last you a year. If you're really frugal about all the things I just mentioned, maybe you'll get a year and a half out of it. But sooner or later, typically for me in the middle of the winter, I'm going to be up on a ladder trying to change batteries in one of my Blink cameras. That all goes away with a solar panel. <laughs> so I can mount the solar panel, connect it up to my camera, and just stay inside. <laughs> I don't have to worry about swapping out batteries. And the solution just works really well. 
Now they sell this a couple of different ways. They have it in black like I have here. They have it in white. So if you got white siding, you're gonna put it someplace with a white background. You can use the white product. They sell it as a single unit. They sell it as a double unit. Whatever you need, you can find a solution through Wasserstein. And this company's been around a while. They build a lot of different accessories for all types of cameras. One last thing I'll mention, because the battery inside will supply a standard DC voltage here, five volts USB uh, supported voltage, you can use this with any camera that uses a micro USB connection. Now this is set up specifically for the Blink camera, but if you've got another camera that works on a micro USB connection, there's no reason this battery won't supply that same voltage for another camera. So just something to keep in mind. Anyway, I like the kit. I hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks again for watching. And until next time, <laughs> stay nerdy.